The legislative auditor is working with four Acadiana towns struggling financially, Baldwin, Bazile, Melville, and Washington, are on the verge of state takeover. As Jordan Lippincott reports, some people living in Baldwin are considering leaving because of it. Pete Furman has lived in Baldwin for about 60 years. He says it's quite obvious the town is lacking funds. You would almost have to be a rock not to know that this is happening because you can see it. And having been here so long, I know how it was. There are four police officers in the town with one on each shift. About four years ago, the police department had to make cuts, which included two officers. The lack of policemen, which is a big concern now because the crime rate is rising considerably and uh, we just don't have the police to do what needs to be done. According to the legislative auditor, if Baldwin continues on the path they're on, they may be in danger of losing the entire police department or water and sewer. That's certainly within the realm of, of possibility. I mean, it's certainly we don't want to go there if we can absolutely avoid it. But I mean, it's just that's the next progression down. Mayor Phil Prejean says their deficit stems from water bills not being collected and because they have to get water from St. Mary Parish after noticing high levels of ammonia in Baldwin's wells. He's hoping the town can recover, but for some, it may be too late. To leave a place that I've been for 60 years has taken many years of problems and it's gotten to the point where I'm, I'm ready to go. I realize it's kind of late in life to be making a movement, but I'm I just don't see any more reason to fight it anymore. In Baldwin, Jordan Lippincott, KTC TV3.